When it opens later this year, Scene 75 Columbus will be the largest entertainment center in the U.S. Over 20 exciting attractions will be taking over the roughly 220,000 square foot space that was formerly occupied by a Macy's department store inside Tuttle Mall in Dublin, Ohio. Coaster 101 was recently invited to get a sneak peek inside the status of this massive overhaul. Here's a rundown of a few things that we saw inside Scene 75 Columbus. Coaster fans are going to love Nuclear Rush, an indoor spinning roller coaster located on the second floor. Guests must be 48 inches tall to ride solo or 36 inches if accompanied by an adult. The tickets are expected to be about $5 per rider. Next is the laser maze. There's one of two laser mazes inside the center. The first one has a bank vault theme while the other is a gold mine. The lasers are very precise and super visible with the slight haze in the room. We were lucky enough to try out the attraction and give it a go. It felt like you were in a heist movie. You were time tracked, but if you hit a laser, you're penalized by your time jumping up. After you escape the room, you can enter your name for the leaderboards and even send yourself an email with a video of your attempt. Next, we checked out the laser tag arena. I was blown away. You first come into the space where you will receive your state-of-the-art laser guns and vests, then move into a themed briefing room. After that, you'll be greeted by a huge Jurassic Park-style gate that will swing open underneath a wall of smoke and fog as you enter the huge arena. You and 49 of your friends will be able to break into three teams in this base, each team having its own base. There are dozens of obstacles and tunnels, including a second floor catwalk-like level. I can't wait to come back and try this out. Across from the laser attraction sit the Illusions Restaurant and Bar. And it's well on its way to being a dining experience you'd expect to see somewhere like a Disney or Universal. It's a bar and grill model restaurant with a twist. The two-sided bar will be themed Fire and Ice. The bar top features Fireside and has a bar-length firewall of smoke and added lights under the table illuminate any drinks lit off the top. Behind the bar is the restaurant that will have special lighting, televisions, and infinity mirrors. Not to mention there's going to be a secret room behind a bookcase that will have lots of uh, projecting effects and things like that. There will be over 200 arcade games inside Scene 75. Of course, there are other classics like skee ball, air hockey, basketball, coin pushers, and so on. But there are so many games that we hadn't even seen before that we can't wait to get back and try them. We're home to a giant go kart track. These brand new electric go karts will go 14 miles per hour, and there'll be both individual carts and double carts for families. Anyone with young kids is probably going to be spending a lot of time in the bounce and play to park. It'll be an area for toddlers, too. There's also a class, uh, classic bumper cars with a twist. The spin zone bumper cars are equipped with sensors that send you spinning when you get bumped. The drop tower hardware hadn't been delivered yet, but we saw the giant hole in the floor where the tower is going to be located. You're going to start on the first floor, and it's going to raise you up 35 feet through the second floor, not just once or twice, but 11 times total, we've been told. Looks like fun. The karaoke booth at Scene 75 will be a big hit for those who are into karaoke. The booth is large enough for you and a group of friends to enter and select a song together. A green screen on the back wall will turn your song into a music video that you can then email to yourself and share on social media. Uh, one of the things we're most excited about, besides the roller coaster, of course, is the mini golf. There's two... Uh, black light nine hole mini golf courses each with their own elaborate themes each course will have highly detailed uh, murals on the walls and projection effects watch out for that shark and there's even more attractions that we haven't talked about here we didn't even touch on any of the party rooms so we're really excited for the opening of scene 75 columbus the sheer number of things to be to do combined with the attention to detail is going to be a combination that will have guests wanting to visit again and again don't have an exact opening date yet, but I'll expect it to be sometime this fall in 2019. Stay tuned to Coaster 101 for more coverage of Scene 75 Columbus. Thanks for watching.